Hello guys and welcome back to our lesson number 4. So in this video, we are going to discuss the two definitions, formal definitions of an ellipse. So we have the double nap cone definition and of course the locus definition of an ellipse. Definition number one, we have the double nap cone definition. So Remember in our first week, in the study of the double nap cone or the double circular cone, we learned that an ellipse is formed when the vertex angle is less than the angle of the cutting plane with the axis. So take note that we have, uh, we have the axis here. Okay, so let's try to write. So we have the axis here, okay, and we have our vertex angle. So the vertex angle is from the axis to the generator, and we have the uh, angle, okay, angle of the plane. So the angle of the plane is, where is it? It's actually here, okay, so it's actually here. So, Whenever the angle, let's name this one as beta angle, or the, the angle beta. Whenever our angle, vertex angle, is less than, okay, uh, less than our beta, the angle formed by the plane, the cutting plane, uh, with the axis, we form an ellipse, okay? So take note that an ellipse will become a circle when the plane forms a right angle with the axis. So we have already discussed the circle and we learned that if it's 90 degrees, uh, the angle is 90 degrees, beta is 90 degrees, uh, we have a circle. So this is the reason why we say that the circle is a special case of an ellipse. Again, the circle is a special case case of an ellipse. The second definition is the locus definition. Okay, so when we say locus, it's a point. Okay, so a point with a condition. So a condition pertaining to the definition of our ellipse. So how do we define the ellipse using its locus? So the ellipse is defined as the locus of point of a point uh, which moves in a plane such the sum of its distances from the two points called the foci add up to a constant. Okay, so in symbols, so we have this, the distance from P to F1, so P, uh, it's so fast, P to F1, okay, so this part here, plus the distance of P to F2, this one, is equal to k and take note that k okay k is greater than any of the two so can uh, this pf1 and pf2 is less than k okay so it can also be defined as a conic where the eccentricity is less than one okay so what is the eccentricity it's the ratio okay so it's a ratio of uh, of the point going towards uh, ratio of the point from the directrix so you, supposedly there is a directrix here then we have the point so let's say the point is here okay so the nearest point from the directrix to the point in the ellipse and the point from the ellipse to the focus so the ratio of these two so let's just name this one as d1 okay this is d1 and this one is d2 Okay, so the ratio of this, D1 and D2, should be less than 1. Okay, so that's how we define A or an ellipse. Okay, so to further explain, so we have this simulation here, simulation tool uh, from demonstrations.wolfram.com. Okay, so... The formation or the existence of an ellipse can be akin to or compared to a rubber band. 
Okay, so if it's a rubber band, so how does it work? So we have the point P here. Okay, so we have a point P here. We have the two fo foci. Okay, or the two focuses. Okay, so we have F1 and F2. Okay, so imagine that the ellipse, the shape, the, uh, the shape of the ellipse is not yet here. Okay, just imagine there are two strings. Okay, or a string. A string, a string attached to this point P here. So if we try to move. Okay, so. That's it. Move. It's just a little slow. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so if we, if you try to move it, you will realize that the distance, okay, so there's a distance here. The distance remains. It's just 6. Okay, but the distance from F to the point, okay, from from the two apps, from the two foci to the point changes. Okay, so it's actually here. So uh, I'll just adjust. Okay, so it's 3.126 for F P to F1 from P to F2 is 2.874. But the total distance, the sum, okay, is just a constant this is referring to the k in our previous definition so even if we try to move it okay then for this uh, to change the sum so for example if you want to change the sum we're going to change the length of the semi major axis so semi major axis is half the length of the major axis so where is the major axis it is the line where the focus or the fo foci Okay, the foci lies. So, in this case, it's a horizontal line. Okay, so it's the line segment that divides the ellipse and where the foci lies. Okay, so if we try to change it. Okay, so we have 4.560. So, uh, it becomes smaller. Okay, changing the size of the, the major axis makes the uh ellipse smaller or flat more flat now it's your turn can you give the locus definition of an ellipse in your own words again give the definition the locus definition of an ellipse in your own words see you in the next video